Lucas Murray is suing multiple women for their unflattering reviews of him on a Facebook group. It comes after a Facebook group called Are We Dating the Same Guy was created with Murray at the center of the conversation. He's suing for defamation, sex-based discrimination, and invasion of privacy. And he's taken over $2 million in damages, including pain and suffering. Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah! The women say they did nothing wrong because they posted their truth and opinions on a private group which is protected against defamation. Well, it says here that he's actually suing over 50 women. He's trying to he's trying to serve 50 plus women. He cold. And it's not like they're on a group just saying that he's not a great date. They're on there saying that he lied about being an attorney, he tried to extort money, has sexually transmitted diseases, and is a murderer. I beg your pardon? Now, he did release a statement. He said, for years, key defendants obsessively tracked, stalked, and incited harassment against me. These are women with whom I had little to no interaction. In every case of interaction, I rejected each one and cut them off quite swiftly. Instead of going their separate ways, they went on for months and years to spread misinformation about me and countless others. Their actions were deliberate, and now they're playing the victims. He's not wrong about them playing the victims. These women are now going on a press run, trying to make people feel sorry for him and make out he's a big bad monster. He seemed, in my opinion, pretty smug and very arrogant. The entire date, he was putting me down for various things, um, my job included. I feel not just for myself, but for my co-defendants and for the other women that he's, he's gone after. This is not his first lawsuit. It's not his second lawsuit. It's not his fifth lawsuit. Um, he has a pattern, and it seems to me that that pattern is most often directed towards women. But everything I said was just my experience with him and my opinions on how I think you know, he should not be on dating sites. He's basically suing us for $2.6 million in damages. It's very bizarre. The accusations are baseless. Are you sure about that? I felt like I was being punked, honestly, just by the, th the things that were coming out of his mouth. I want to emphasize I had never had a date like this. He seemed uh, very arrogant, smug, like sitting on a high horse. He did try to get me to leave with him um, to go back to his apartment or his place, uh, to which I did not. I refused to leave with him. And how is this guy still allowed to be on dating apps harassing women? Vanessa says their first communication was anything but routine. He took issue with her having a male friend in one of her profile photos and in a message called her a moron. <laughs> and at that point, my stomach dropped. Go get him, girls. Mm -hmm. Go get him, girls. Shut up, you donuts. If it was 50 men trying to damage a woman's reputation, you would not be defending that. These two women are terrified they're going to be sued, so they're doing everything they can to make out he's a terrible man that treats women really badly, and they're the brave women standing up to him. It's unfortunate that we do have to come to the media to get enough traction, but we are still without legal representation at this time, so that is something we felt was necessary um, in order to gain traction behind our our story. We've been representing ourselves this entire time. These women have got no money, no lawyers, and now shit's got real and they're getting desperate. For that reason, I don't really believe anything that's coming out of their mouths. It's impacted us in quite a few ways. Obviously, we're here. We have to take time out of our own lives to deal with this. That includes missing work. That includes missing money. We're everyday women. We have jobs. We have lives outside of this. It has impacted our lives quite a bit as far as our time and energy. Yeah, you should have thought about that before you used your time and energy to shit on another man for years instead of just getting on with your life. Most of these women have never even met the guy. So many of the women, I would say the majority, had never even met the plaintiff in person. I matched with the plaintiff back in 2019. Um, he initiated the match right out of the gate, gave me his phone number and said, let's hang. I commented with one message saying bold move with a happy face and then a barrage of harassing uh, messages came afterward. That just makes no fucking sense. And a few years later, I commented on that post on the Facebook group and now I'm being sued. Congratulations, you played yourself. I just thought, well, this won't go anywhere. You know, I just thought, this is ridiculous. But it's, it is very, it's very serious. To make it very clear, I never met this guy. So years go by, you probably never even think about the guy, but when you see a post about him, you decide to hop on the bandwagon, probably for likes and attention, and probably because you're bored, 
and just talk a bunch of shit about him. And I'm not gonna say that every woman on that group was lying, but I can imagine that a lot of it is bullshit and it's a lot of women that are just bored or angry that they've been rejected in the past. We met at a boutique hotel and this was in October of 2021 when the LA mask policy was still in effect for indoors. So he quickly took issue with that. Um, there was a sign on the door of the hotel that said, please wear masks indoors. So I go to reach for mine and he brushes it off. And that was kind of my first indication that probably wouldn't be getting along. He noted quite a few times during the date that I was uncomfortable, but yet continued to talk about the subject in which, which was making me uncomfortable. He somehow found those comments that we did make. Um, again, they were factual and they were based in our true experiences. These women are talking way too much considering they don't have a lawyer. They're just gonna end up digging themselves in a deeper hole and giving Murray more ammunition. It's not a smart move because Murray's pissed off and he's standing on business. Murray says he has never met, much less dated, some of the women posting about him. He went on to accuse the women of catfishing him, saying they posted highly filtered and enhanced photos on their dating profiles, concluding, Perhaps these women are not successful at dating for obvious reasons. Nigga gonna stand on business every time. I tell you what, he's not wrong about the catfishing. There's a lot of women out here that are just lying to men. The way you edit your pictures, you put on your filters, by the time we see you, it's not even you. You make out that you're nine and tens on Instagram, see you in real life and you're, you're about a six. And without representation and not a lot of expendable income to fight a lawsuit, the women worry this could bankrupt them. At the end of the day, these kinds of suits don't just affect me and Vanessa and our co-defendants. And I feel that a lot of times women are still being silenced. Women are still being silenced. If women were still being silenced, you wouldn't be able to make a Facebook group and talk shit about men. You've got over 50 women. Some of those women are trying to make things up about you. Serious things which can affect your life as a man, especially. Ruin your reputation. You won't get a job, won't get a date ever again. Soon as you try and defend yourself from those lies, they try and make themselves look like the victims and paint you out to be the villain. <laughs> You can tell they're all future cat ladies, but now they're all going to be broke future cat ladies. They should have left this guy alone and moved on with their lives. Because a judge at this early stage can't believe one side or the other, that's a jury question. So this case will likely go to trial if it doesn't settle. And this isn't the first time that women from this Facebook group have been sued. Flashback. A Chicago man is suing after his name and photo were included in a disparaging post on a popular Facebook group. It's called, Are We Dating the Same Guy? It's billed as a way to protect people from bad dates and relationships. But he says the Facebook group's local chapter has ruined his reputation, and he's hoping a new Illinois law will help. His lawyers talk to CBS 2's Sarah Maki. A lawsuit from Nico D'Ambrosio names dozens of women, one defendant's male relative, and several tech companies after posts started circulating in this Facebook group with his name, photo, and harassing text messages he reportedly sent to women. Many of the defendants in this lawsuit are moderators for the Are We Dating the Same Guy Facebook page. We've been working on this for several months. We've tried everything but sue these people. We've tried sending them registered letters, sending them cease and desist letters to no avail. And ultimately, we had to go and take this recourse because our hand was forced and it wouldn't take down these posts. They're now fielding hundreds of calls from other men who say they've seen their personal information attached to other similar forums. Our client's a victim. He's, he's a victim on this matter, and we want to stop there from be, there being additional victims in the future. Now listen, I don't know these guys. Maybe they're dickheads, and obviously no man or woman should treat anybody badly. But if a woman tries to ruin a man's reputation with a bold-faced lie, there's only one place she belongs. She belongs to the streets.